All right, so now we're going to dive into understanding uh, the V8 architecture, you know, how the CPU is. So, you know, first things first, we're going to talk about how you have to imagine about the capabilities of the CPU, right? So we are going to say, all right, this is our CPU. And what we then say is, depending on the configuration registers, right, how they are programmed, what values are set there, the CPU is capable of switching on and off some of its functionality, right? So on and off uh, functionality. And what this and what this means i will talk about like right now <laughs> okay so the cpu can turn on and off its functionality based on the configuration and status registers uh, c c s r's right so that can help us on and off okay so depending on what functionalities are on and off my claim is the CPU can be in different execution level, right? And this is an important term, which is execution level, right? And then what are the execution levels? It can be in EL0, EL1, EL2, and EL3, right? And what you can also imagine is as we go in this direction from EL0 to EL3, more and more hardware capabilities are activated, right? More and more abilities are activated. Um, let's say, you know, mode switch is something that will come to, but mode switch is possible as you go towards EL3, it's not possible at EL0. Again, you know, these terminologies will make natural sense, kind of, you know, as the course grows on you. So it's okay if you forget these because very hard to forget, honestly. And you'll see why. Uh, so EL0 is execution level 0, execution level 1, execution level 2, 3, and that's it. So you can imagine different levels, different functionality. Less number, less functionality, more number, uh, you know, higher the number, higher the functionality. 